we have a post api for token uh, this can be used for authentication of the user and get an access token for that specific user uh, these are my old configurations i'll just update them as we go through this is the base uri and reams and the ream name the ream name which i have given here is dive hyphen dev this one and protocol open id connect and token in the body you need to have form url encoded enabled and properties like client id client secret grant type username and password are required here so client id is quarkus hyphen be let me update the client secret copy paste and grant type here is password because we are using the user credentials on click of send you will get the response json response which contains access token and refresh token token type is bearer which means you have to have it in authentication header as bearer space access token and we are not interested in these right now you can see by default this access token expires in 300 seconds which expires in 5 minutes the refresh token expires in 30 minutes let's check if this access token is active or not so since i have sent a post request and it is logged in let's see in the application here sessions you'll see you have a user and a session for this user you can also see in the users user sessions a session is created because the user is logged in here you can introspect this access token by using this rest api the post request api for introspect the api till here is similar and the only thing you have is token slash introspect here i need to add the access token delete the older one i'm adding the new access token and the client secret send this api is basically used to check if the uh, access token is active or not and several other information that this access token contains we are not giving any authorization headers only in the body you'll see x url encoded with token as the access token client id and client secret you'll see several information here this property active true shows that the access token or the user is logged in and is active for this user if i want to log out and make it as inactive i can use this logout url so which needs the refresh token i'm going to copy this refresh token Role control v and client secret and send so 204 is successful here if i now check for the for the same access token it says it is inactive and if we see in the application sessions there is no session over here and users even in this there is no session here because we have logged out now we have seen how to log in how to get the access token for login and also we have seen how to log out so we'll see if the user is not logged out and the access token expires how can we get the new access token for that for that let me first log in again log in you got this access token and a refresh token let's assume that this access token is invalid it this expires in five minutes but i don't want to wait for the five minutes let's say this has expired or it is invalid then what we can do is we can use the refresh token to get a new access token for that we can use the same rest api this same rest api but with different grant type you'll have the client id and client secret as it is grant type instead of password we'll have it as refresh token and another property called refresh token which will contain this refresh token value copy delete and send 
you got a new access token for this user. So this is how you get a new access token. If at all the access token is expired, we'll see a detailed explanation of this response and certain properties of this REST API on how to use or what all the information we have here and how to configure those in the key cloak in the next video. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.